Hi, I'm Ryan Novotny of Fat Cat Apps, and I'm here today to do a quick overview of how to use our plugin QuizCat. Uh, the first step is to install the plugin, which is just like any other WordPress plugin. Uh, you can find it on the WordPress.org repository. And the easiest way is installing just through your WordPress backend. Uh, just as I'm doing now. So let's go ahead and activate the plugin. So when it's installed, you'll notice the QuizCat menu here on your WordPress dashboard. And the first step is to add a new quiz. Um, it's a good idea to go ahead and give it a name and you can add a description and an optional image. If you'd like to add an image, just click on the placeholder there. And then you can upload files or select an existing picture and you can also change or remove that just the same. Now, after you've um, set up your description and image, if you'd like to, uh, the next step is to create a question. So the first question will say, what is one plus one? You can also have an image based question or have a question with your image. Uh, of course, the correct answer is two. The wrong answer will say zero. And you can have up to four wrong answers. And if you'd like to have more than just one question, you just click Add Question. What is three times three? Correct answer is nine. Wrong answer is five. And you can also reorder the questions just with a simple drag and drop, like so. And then once a user completes the quiz, they can receive a score. And that can be something funny, like, um, you know, you're a Jedi or a Padawan, or maybe, well, anything really. So we'll say bad feet zero. And we'll add one for good. And you can see the results are actually based on the number of questions. So since we have two questions, you can either get zero or one or two. So the, the results scores automatically adjust based on the number of questions. So as I've added a third, you can see this will be the result for two, the result for one, and the result for zero. You can delete results just by clicking on the trash icon. Um, same with questions, you can delete it with the trash icon. Um, so that's really all there is to set up a quiz. So let's take a preview. All right, so we've got our title, description, image. Start the quiz. What's one plus one? Oh, I think it's two. Three times three and five. Oh, okay. We've got our result page here. So that's the standard quiz. There's also one more option. You can hide, choose to hide the answers until the end. So instead of immediately giving you a right or wrong answer, um, it just waits till the end. And then you can see them all at once. So let's see how that looks. I'm going to refresh. Um, OK, two, five. All right, so this is the hide answers until the end option. And the last thing is to actually embed this somewhere, say on a post or a page in WordPress, it uses a short code. So to use that, all you have to do is copy the short code, which also shows up under the all quizzes. You can get the short code here as well. So what you do is you copy that, and then on either the page or the post, you'd like to add it to you, you just paste it in. Just 
simple as this. Now, if we preview this post, you'll see it contains the quiz you've created. So that's our short intro to QuizCat. Um, feel free to comment or let, let us know if you have any questions or suggestions, and we'd be happy to hear from you.